Activation of the complement system occurs on surfaces, such as the surface of a bacterium, as shown here. In this example, the activation of complement is initiated by antibodies that bind to bacterial cell surface antigens. The C1 complement complex, made up of one molecule of C1Q, two molecules of C1R, and two molecules of C1S, binds to the aggregated antibody molecules on the surface of the bacterium. Binding of the C1 complex to antibodies results in the activation by cross-proteolysis of the C1R and C1S proteases. Active C1F cleaves and activates the complement protein C4, releasing a small peptide fragment, C4A, which acts as an anaphylatoxin. The remaining large fragment, C4B, which contains the labile thioester bond, covalently attaches to the surface of the bacterium through formation of ester or amide linkages. The C2 proenzyme binds to C4B and is then cleaved by the activated C1S, releasing a small peptide, C2B. This leads to the generation of a new protease, C4B-C2A, also known as the classical complement pathway C3 convertase. The C4B-C2A enzyme binds C3, cleaving it to release another anaphylatoxin peptide, C3A, while C3B fragments, which also contain a labile thioester, bind to the bacterial surface adjacent to the C4B-C2A complex and associate with C4B-C2A to create the C4B C2A, C3B protease that is a C3, C5 convertase. Many molecules of C3 can be cleaved by the C3, C5 convertase, releasing many molecules of C3A. Many of the resulting C3B fragments are able to covalently attach to the bacterial surface, decorating it with many molecules of C3B that can induce phagocytosis of the bacterium. The C3, C5 convertase also cleaves and activates C5. Again, the small peptide fragment released by this cleavage, C5A, is a potent anaphylatoxin and is also the most important chemoattractant derived from the complement system. The large fragment, C5B, acts to initiate the formation of the membrane attack complex, the terminal stages of the complement cascade. In this process, C5B assembles with C6, and C7. C5B itself is not membrane associated, and the C7 molecule allows this complex to insert itself into the bacterial cell membrane. C8 also binds to the C5B C6 C7 complex and inserts itself into the cell membrane. The C5B 678 complex catalyzes the assembly of many molecules of C9 to create a cylindrical pore spanning the cell membrane. The pore disrupts the ionic and osmotic balance across the membrane and thus kills the bacterial cell.